distribution of major minerals. Let us now study the distribution of a few major minerals in India. Before starting the actual mining process, the economic viability of a reserve is decided by considering the important factors such as the concentration of mineral in the ore, the ease of extraction and closeness to the market. When this is done, a mineral deposit or reserve turns into a mine. Ferrous Minerals About three-fourths of the total value of the production of metallic minerals of India comes from ferrous minerals. Iron Ore Iron ore is the raw material used to make pig iron, which is one of the main raw materials to make steel. 98% of the mined iron ore is used to make steel. Iron ore is the backbone of industrial development. India is one of the richest sources of good quality iron ore deposits in the world. The iron is usually found in the form of magnetite, hematite or limonite or siderite ores. State-wise production of iron ore is as follows. Orissa 25% Karnataka 26% Chhattisgarh 19% Goa 17% Jharkhand 12% Others 1% Magnetite is the finest iron ore with a very high content of iron up to 70%. It has excellent magnetic qualities, especially valuable in the electrical industries. Hematite ore is the most important industrial iron ore. Though it has slightly lower iron content than magnetite, only 50 to 60 percent, yet its consumption in industries is quite high. It has the best physical properties needed for steel making. Let us now study about the major iron ore belts in India. Orissa Jharkhand Belt High grade hematite ore is found in Badam Peher mines in the Mayur Bhanj and Kendujhar districts in Orissa. Hematite iron ore is also mined in Goa and Noa Mundi in the adjoining Singbham district of Jharkhand. Durg Bastar Chandrapur Belt It lies in Chhattisgarh and Maharashtra. The famous Beladila range of hills in the Bastar district of Chhattisgarh has reserves of very high grade hematite. It has the best physical properties needed for steel making. Production of iron ore is much more than our demand. Surplus iron ore is exported to Japan and South Korea via Vishakhapatnam port. Bellari Chitradurg Chikmangalur Tumkur Belt this belt in Karnataka has large reserves of iron ore. The Kudremukh mines located in the western ghats of Karnataka are a 100% export unit. The Kudremukh is known to be one of the largest iron ore mines in the world. The mined ore is transported as slurry through a pipeline running through districts of Udupi and Dakshina Kannada to a port near Mangalore. Maharashtra Goa Belt This belt includes the state of Goa and Ratnagiri district of Maharashtra. Though the ores are not of very high quality, yet they are efficiently mined. The ore is exported through Marma Goa port. Manganese Manganese is mainly used in the manufacturing of steel and ferroalloy. Nearly 10 kgs of manganese is required to manufacture 1 ton of steel. It is also used in the manufacture of glazed pottery, plastics, bleaching powder, insecticides, floor tiles, dry cell batteries and paints. Orissa is the largest producer of manganese ores in India. One third of the country's total production of manganese was produced in Orissa in 2000 and 2001. State-wise production of manganese ore is as follows. Orissa 33%, Madhya Pradesh 22%, 
Karnataka 15%, others 30%. Non-ferrous minerals. India's picture regarding reserves and production of non-ferrous minerals is not very encouraging. These minerals include copper, aluminium, lead, zinc and gold. These metals play a vital role in a number of metallurgical, engineering and electrical industries. India manufacture only a little amount of copper and it exported a huge amount of this mineral resource annually to meet its domestic needs. Let us study the distribution of copper and bauxite. Copper India is critically deficient in the reserves and production of copper. Copper is malleable, ductile and a good conductor of heat and electricity. It is mainly used in electrical cables, electronics, alloys and chemical industries. Major deposits of copper ores are in Rajasthan, Jharkhand and Madhya Pradesh. The Balaghat mines in Madhya Pradesh produce 45% of India's copper. The Singbham district of Jharkhand is also a leading producer of copper. The Khetri mines in Rajasthan are also famous for production of copper. State-wise share of production of copper Madhya Pradesh 45% Rajasthan 42% Jharkhand 13% Bauxite. Several ores such as carolite, bauxite, corundum contain aluminium. It is from bauxite that aluminium is obtained. Bauxite deposits are formed by the decomposition of a wide variety of rocks rich in aluminium silicates. Aluminium is an important metal because of its lightweight, ductile, malleable and good conductor of heat and electricity. The most extensive and biggest use of aluminium is in packing. Aluminium is also used in the forms of wires in power transmission. State-wise production of bauxite ore. Orissa 45%, Gujarat 17%, Jharkhand 14%, Maharashtra 11%, others 13%. India's bauxite deposits are mainly found in the Amarkantak Plateau, Michael Hills and the Plateau region of Bilaspur, Katni. The total reserve of bauxite in India during 2001-2002 was about 2,911 million tonnes and that of Orissa was about 1,733 million tonnes which constitute about 59.5% share to country's reserves. Bauxite is the main exported mineral of the state. India is self-sufficient in bauxite. Panch Patmali deposits in Koraput districts are the most important bauxite deposits in the state. Let us now learn about non-metallic minerals. Non-metallic minerals Mica is a complex aluminosilicate mineral having a sheet or plate-like structure. It splits easily into thin sheets. These sheets can be so thin that a thousands can be layered into a mica sheet of a few centimeters high. Mica comes in various shades. It can be clear, black, green, red, yellow or brown. Mica is transparent and fireproof. It has great dielectric strength, insulating properties and resistance to high voltage. Because of these unique properties, sheet mica is used principally in the electronic and electrical industries. Mica is widely distributed and occurs in igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary regimes. Mica deposits are found in the northern edge of the Chota Nagpur Plateau. Kodarma district in Jharkhand state in India has the largest deposits of mica in the world. Kodarma Gaya Hazaribagh belt of Jharkhand is the leading producer of mica. 
In Rajasthan, the major mica producing area is around Ajmer. Nellore mica belt of Andhra Pradesh is also an important producer in the country. Rock minerals. Limestone is a sedimentary rock composed mainly of the minerals calcite and aragonite which are different crystal forms of calcium carbonate. Limestone is found in association with rocks composed of calcium carbonates or calcium and magnesium carbonates. Calcite consists essentially of calcium carbonate. Limestone is the basic raw material for the cement industry and essential for smelting iron ore in the blast furnace. State-wise production of limestone ore Andhra Pradesh 16% Madhya Pradesh 15% Rajasthan 15% Gujarat 11% Tamil Nadu 9% Others 34% Hazardous of Mining Mining is inherently dangerous both in terms of accident and ill health. The principal airborne hazards in the mining industry include several types of particulates, naturally occurring gases, engine exhaust and some chemical vapors. The physical hazards are noise, segmental vibration, heat etc. The dust and noxious fumes inhaled by miners make them vulnerable to pulmonary diseases. For example, with sufficient exposure, silica can cause silicosis, carbon monoxide can cause chemical asphyxiation. The risk of collapsing mine roofs, inundation and fires in coal mines are constant threat to miners. The water source in the region get contaminated due to mining. Dumping of waste and slurry leads to degeneration of land, soil and increase in stream and river pollution. Stricter safety regulation and implementation of environmental laws are essential to prevent mining from becoming a killer industry.